Boris Johnson's new director of communications has dropped a major hint that he believes the PM's time in number the 10th of May be over within six months. Mr. Johnson's government was rocked by a series of high-profile resignations this week, and this bombshell may further solidify the damage. While Mr. Johnson's spokesman told reporters that three of the resignations, Jack Doyle, Dan Rosenfield and Martin Reynolds, had come as a result of mutual decisions. The departure of head of policy Manira Mirza and policy advisor Elena Narazansky had not been planned, and marked a further sign that the PM's government may be losing faith in him. Former advisor to Mr. Johnson and committed remainer Gudo Harry was brought in to replace Jack Doyle as the director of communications. However, as observed by ITV's political editor Robert Peston, Mr. Harry may not intend to stay at the PM's side for long. Mr. Peston tweeted. Boris Johnson's new director of comms, Gudo Hari, has been working at Hawthorne Advisors, the comms consultancy co-founded by Ben Elliott, Tory party co-chairman close to the PM. I gather Gudo has a leave of absence from Hawthorne of six months, just in case number 10 thing isn't long term. The inside knowledge appears to imply that Mr. Harry is not fully committed to his new role in number 10, and that he suspects Mr. Johnson may not last much longer than six months. Andrew Neal also raised questions over just how planned Jack Doyle's exit actually was in a column for the Daily Mail yesterday, writing, far from a coherent plan to revive Downing Street there was only chaos and confusion. Nobody had a clue who would replace the departers. Mr. Harry has been known to be highly critical of the PM. In 2018, after Mr. Johnson compared Theresa May's Brexit deal to a suicide vest. Mr. Harry described him as tribal and divisive in an interview with the BBC. He also referred to reports of Mr. Johnson's numerous affairs, saying, unfortunately he is now dragging us into a place where we think that we can joke about suicide vests and that we can be sexually incontinent. Somebody needs to take the spade out of his hand or it looks to me like he's digging his political grave. 